back to the channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you a little bit of our computer hardware project that we have started doing for our business environment. I'm going to show you what computer we are getting and we'll do a little bit of unboxing for that computer and also show you what was the old computer that we are replacing for that. And I will also show you whatever comes up today on a Friday. Typically, Fridays are quiet and we usually do decommissioning, cleanups, inventory but we never do any changes or configuration on a friday especially if we're not working the next day so we always call it the no change friday so if you're interested please keep on watching and without further ado let's get started Okay, I just want to check out what Windows version we have here. I'm just typing in the command winver to quickly check the version. Okay, so you can see in the window that popped up that we have Windows 11 version 23H2 and I think that's the latest Windows 11 version as of this date. Okay, so that's good to know. I just wanted to know what OS it came with. Okay, so the old computers that we are replacing is the Intel Nooks. So we do have the 7th gen, which is the bigger one, and the 8th gen, which is the slimmer one with the MVME. And we are upgrading our hardware because they are not compatible with Windows 11. Unfortunately, the Intel Nooks didn't meet the requirements for Windows 11 upgrade. So these are the hardware requirements for the Windows 11 upgrade and the Intel Nooks didn't have the TPM that was required for this. And it's crucial that we have to upgrade our computers to Windows 11 because Microsoft announced that it will end support for Windows 10 on October 14, 2025 which is next year. We are currently still using Windows 10 22H2 in our environment that's why we have to upgrade our hardware first before we can be compliant with our operating systems in the environment. And all of our desktops that are using Windows 10 will be in the list of vulnerabilities, so we don't want that. So before the Windows 10 end of life is coming, we have planned already on how we are gonna replace all of our machines so we can be compliant with the current operating systems. So I'm just gonna give you an example of how security vulnerabilities look like in our workplace. So we usually get a spreadsheet every day for the high and critical vulnerabilities for our computers. So this is what our spreadsheet looks like. It's going to list the computer names and the vulnerability names as well. So if we have operating systems that are end of life or end of support, our list is going to look like this. We also ordered a bunch of this special power cord for the switches because the power cord that came with our new switches grew legs and now we're missing a few. So this is the power cord that our new switches need. We have the Cisco 9300. So this has like a little slit in the middle, not like the regular ones. And this is the power port up close so the regular power cord won't work on this. It really needs a special one because it has like that gap in the middle. 
So I just put the power cord to the switches that needed them. So this is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.